According to the Brazilian plastic surgeon Fabio Nakash, Colonel Gaddafi underwent plastic surgery in 1994 in an attempt to look youthful for the silver jubilee of the 1st of September revolution of Libya. Nakash removed fat from Gaddafi's belly before injecting it into his face as well as giving the dictator hair plugs. Gaddafi insisted on local anesthesia because he wanted to stay alert during the procedure and even stopped halfway through to eat a burger. In 2003, Islam Karimov, the late dictator of Uzbekistan, ordered that his government create a law that made himself and all the members of his family immune from any form of prosecution forever. He also made insulting him punishable by up to five years in prison and made it illegal to refuse to praise him during religious ceremonies. As well as those laws, he also violently persecuted the Muslims of the country and even banned the study of Arabic to make it difficult for students to read the Quran. The dictator of Turkmenistan, Super Murat Niyazov, banned the media in his country from talking about diseases such as AIDS, cholera and the common cold, believing that talking about such illnesses would make them more prevalent in the country. Imagine being kept inside a barbed wire cage under the burning sun for days with barely enough room to move, or left trapped inside a shipping container with 20 other people for months on end. Well, these were some of the methods of torture used by the American-backed Republic of Vietnam against North Vietnamese and Viet Cong prisoners at the Coconut Tree Prison on the island of Phu Qua during the Vietnamese War. The prison had horrific living conditions and the inmates were tortured on a regular basis. This treatment led to the prisoners attempting to escape in multiple ways, such as crossing the fences, which were protected by armed guards and guard dogs, hiding inside water trucks that would frequently enter the jail to make deliveries, or digging tunnels. To dig these tunnels, the prisoners would use spoons and the lids of rice boxes and carry out the dirt in plastic water jugs. The tunnels that the prisoners secretly dug from their cells were hundreds of meters long, and between 1967 and 1973, there were seven escape attempts through these tunnels, five of which were successful. The largest escape occurred on January 21st, 1969, when 21 prisoners managed to successfully escape through a tunnel that was 120 meters in length and 1.2 meters in depth. Crazy facts about Martin Luther King Jr. During a childhood play fight with his brother at the family home, Martin Luther's brother fell from a banister and landed on his grandmother. Believing that she had passed away, Martin Luther, blaming himself, jumped out of the second story window of the home, but neither he or his grandmother were injured. However, later at the age of 12, after sneaking out without permission from his parents to watch a parade, his grandmother died from a heart attack. Martin Luther was again racked with guilt and again jumped out of the second story window, but didn't sustain any serious injuries. There was approximately 388,000 tons of napalm dropped on Vietnam between 1963 and 1973. Due to the fact that napalm sticks to the skin and the bombs that were dropped were less precise than other projectiles, napalm became a barbaric symbol of America's brutal campaign during the Vietnam War and was labelled by one journalist as a diabolical child killer. By 1966, activists in America began to stage boycotts against the maker Dow Chemicals. Since 1975, there has been an estimated 100,000 casualties, resulting in 40,000 deaths in Vietnam from landmines and unexploded devices left from the Vietnam War. There is still believed to be 800,000 tons of explosives yet to be found, and 20% of Vietnam's total area is believed to contain unexploded devices. Fragging was quite common during the Vietnam War. Fragging was coined by American soldiers and refers to the act of deliberately attempting to kill or injure another soldier from their own platoon during war times with the use of a fragment grenade. According to the book, America in Vietnam, 730 incidents of fragging took place between 1969 and 1971. In 2019, it was reported by the Wall Street Journal that Kim Jong-un's brother was a CIA informant. According to the journal, Kim Jong-un's brother, Kim Jong-nam, travelled to Malaysia in February 2017 to meet a CIA contact shortly before he was assassinated in the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, an assassination that is believed to have been ordered by Kim Jong-un. According to the journal, Kim Jong-nam may have been able to provide information about the inner workings of the North Korean government. The singer, Hyun Song-wool, who was a member of a girl band created by Kim Jong-un, has long been rumoured to be one of Kim Jong-un's many mistresses. In 2013, it was reported by multiple media outlets in South Korea and the West that she was executed by firing squad along with other musicians for making an adult entertainment film. However, in 2014, she was pictured at an event disproving the rumours of her execution. Kim Jong-un is reported to own several private islands in North Korea. The islands include a huge mansion, multiple lavish villas, large marinas with luxury yachts, shooting ranges, water parks and horse race tracks. The basketball player Dennis Rodman said it's like going to Hawaii or Ibiza, but he's the only one that lives there. Crazy facts about US presidents. In December 1950, the critic David Hume attended a concert by Harry S. Truman's daughter Margaret and wrote a scathing review. In response, Truman wrote a letter to the critic on presidential paper containing the threat of violence. The letter read, It seems to me that you are a frustrated old man who wishes he could have been successful. Someday I hope to meet you. When that happens, you'll need a new nose, a lot of beefsteaks for black eyes, and perhaps a supporter below. The last line is presumed to be a threat by Truman that he would attack the critic's genitals. Truman was heavily criticized by many for his letter. 
Crazy facts about Argentina's new president. The new president of Argentina, Javier Millet, named El Loco or the Madman by his critics, said that in 2017 he visited a medium to communicate with his dead dog Conan. He also said that through a telepathic conversation with Conan he decided to run for president after Conan told him that it was God's plan. Millet also believes he met Conan in a previous life when he was a gladiator and Conan was a lion in Roman times. In 2018 Millet paid $50,000 to have Conan cloned and use his DNA to create five other dogs, who he has publicly stated help him with political advice. In 2019, Millet proclaimed the gangster Al Capone as a hero whilst being interviewed in Paraguay. In relation to the product prices in Argentina, Millet said, For me, smugglers are heroes. One of my great heroes I usually mention in my talks is Al Capone. He then went on to talk about prohibition in America, and then finally asked why Al Capone was eventually arrested. The question is why he went to jail, for evading taxes. This is the lesson. Politicians don't care if you're a murderer or a thief as long as you don't touch theirs. The only sacred cow is a politician's asses. Donald Trump recently praised the intelligence of the dictator of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, saying, you know, when you deal with China, President Xi, and North Korea, Kim Jong-un, and Putin, you deal with all these people. The press hates it when I say they're smart. Well, what am I supposed to say, that they're stupid people? He then went on to confuse Kim Jong-un with the president of China, saying, Kim Jong-un leads 1.4 billion people, and there's no doubt about who the boss is, and they want me to say he's not an intelligent man? Crazy facts about US presidents. On December 14th, 2008, George W. Bush gave a joint press conference with the then Iraqi Prime Minister, during which an Iraqi journalist removed his shoes and threw them at the President, shouting, this is a farewell kiss from the Iraqi people, you dog. This is for the widows and orphans and all those killed in Iraq. The journalist Muntazer al-Zaidi was sentenced to three years in prison, later reduced to one, but only served nine months. A poll taken of Iraqi citizens suggested 62% regarded him as a hero, and a statue of one of the shoes was built in the Iraqi city of Tikrit. Crazy facts about dictators. Israel was aware that Saddam Hussein didn't have any weapons of mass destruction but withheld the information. At least according to the late Israeli politician and former member of the Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee, Yossi Sarid, who told Associate Press in 2004, it was known in Israel that the story that weapons of mass destruction could be activated in 45 minutes was an old wives' tale. Israel didn't want to spoil President Bush's scenario, and it should have. According to the diary entries of Mussolini's mistress, Clara Patachi, she once caught him after having one of his many affairs with one of his many ex-lovers, and after after confronting him, Mussolini replied, All right, I did it. I spent 12 minutes with her. Who cares? She's past it. After 17 years, there's no enthusiasm. It's like when I make love to my wife. He then went on to tell her that the idea of sleeping with one woman was inconceivable and confessed that there was a period in which he was seeing 14 women at the same time. In 2008, at a gathering in Benghazi of more than 200 African tribal kings and chiefs, Colonel Gaddafi was bestowed with the title King of Kings and was gifted a throne, an 18th century Quran and some ostrich eggs. Why did Saddam Hussein's psychopathic son who day shoot his own uncle. In 1994, Saddam Hussein created an organization of teenage boys who were indoctrinated in specially created schools to revere Saddam and his beliefs. They were known as the Saddam Yun or the Saddamists. The group were headed by Saddam's son Uday who effectively used them as a band of henchmen to do his bidding. Uday used the young militia to secure a heightened level of power among Iraq's inner circle and the Hussein family, which led to Saddam's half-brother and Uday's uncle Watban Ibrahim becoming resentful towards Uday. The feeling was mutual as Uday in return resented Watban who was the interior minister of Iraq and an important member of Saddam's inner circle. Tensions between the pair came to a head when Watban and a drunk Uday were involved in an argument. In a fit of drunken rage, Uday shot Watban in the leg multiple times and killed three of Watban's companions. Watban reportedly lost a leg and possibly his genitals from the attack, but claimed that the shooting was an accident for fear of losing his life. Saddam considered punishing Uday by allowing Watban to shoot Uday in the leg in retaliation, but eventually settled on burning Uday's fleet of luxury cars instead. Did the CIA run an experiment in a small French town that caused the residents to go mad. On the 15th of August 1951, in the French town of Pont Saint Esprit, two separate doctors reported patients who were suffering from severe hallucinations and possible food poisoning. Then, over the course of the next few days, the town descended into chaos and multiple residents had hallucinogenic manic episodes. An 11 year old boy attempted to strangle his mother, a husband and wife were involved in a knife fight, and one man, believing he was an aeroplane, died after jumping off the top of a building. 250 people were involved in the incident, 50 were admitted to asylums, and 7 people passed away. The event was most likely due to ergot poisoning, which is a type of fungus that may have naturally occurred in grain which was used to make the town's bread. However, according to an article in the Telegraph, an American journalist found a CIA document which indicated that the CIA may have run an experiment dosing the town's people with LSD to see its effects. The experiment was, according to the article, then buried due to the aftermath of the event. However, this theory and the evidence has been widely dismissed by various journalists, historians and scientists. Crazy facts about US presidents. Jimmy Carter and the Killer Rabbit attack. 
On April 20, 1979, the then US President Jimmy Carter was on a fishing boat in his hometown of Plains, Georgia, when a rabbit that was being chased by dogs jumped into the water and swam towards Carter's boat. As the rabbit approached, the President splashed some water using a paddle towards it, and stated that the animal was in distress or possibly berserk. This seemingly insignificant incident caught the attention of the American media, and the Washington Post posted a front page article titled, Bunny Goes Bugs, Rabbit Attacks President. The incident became a point of ridicule for the President from his opponent. The dictator of Cuba. Cuba, Fidel Castro once gave a reason as to why he didn't shave his beard, stating, if you multiply the 15 minutes you spend shaving every day by the number of days in a year, you will see that you devote almost 5,500 minutes to shaving. An 8 hour day of work consists of 480 minutes, so if you don't shave you gain about 10 days that you can devote to work. Crazy facts about Martin Luther King Jr. His mother was shot to death. On June the 30th, 1974, Alberta King was shot and killed at her church's Sunday service whilst playing the Lord's Prayer on the church organ. The anti-civil rights and anti-Christian attacker, Marcus Wayne Chenault, yelled, you are serving a false god as he fired at her. He later said that he took her life because all Christians are my enemy. He was sentenced to death, but later sentenced to life in prison, partially due to the King family's opposition of the death penalty. Crazy facts about Argentina's new president, part two, as well as reports that he has asked his dogs for political advice. The new president of Argentina, the media personality and ex Mick Jagger impersonator who has claimed to be a tantric sex coach, Javier Malay, has some strong words for the Pope, insulting him by calling him a communist turd and the representative of evil on the earth. He has also endorsed the mafia, saying, if I had to choose between the state and the mafia, I would choose the mafia. Because the mafia has codes, the mafia adapts, the mafia doesn't lie, and above all, the mafia competes. Malay, who has never married and has no children, has jokingly said that if he got into power, he would choose his sister as the first lady, and later publicly denied having an intimate relationship with her, calling the rumours fake news. In the past, Malay has said that he takes political advice from his five dogs, which happened to be clones of his much-loved deceased dog, Conan. This fact, coupled with the relationship with his sister, led to an opposing politician during a debate, calling him dishevelled and insulting him by accusing him of sleeping with his eight dogs and his sister. Malay responded by saying, I don't have eight dogs. Crazy facts about Martin Luther King Jr. He survived an assassination attempt 10 years before he was killed. On September 20th, 1958, at a book signing in a department store in Harlem, Isola Ware Curry thrust a seven-inch letter opener into King's chest before she was restrained by a bystander. King was rushed to hospital and survived, but the knife was so close to his aorta that, according to the doctor, if he had as much as sneeze whilst waiting for the surgery, he could have died. Curry was later deemed to be a paranoid schizophrenic who was in a state of insanity during the attack. Did you know the CIA ordered the alteration of the film The Hulk? According to script notes obtained through the Freedom of Information Act, changes made to the film The Hulk included disassociating American organizations from the laboratories that created the monster, as well as changing the codename of the operation depicted in the film from its original title of Ranch Hand to the title of Angry Man, due to the fact that Ranch Hand was a real chemical warfare program during the Vietnam War. 